You have to think about the sex trade as being a, a world where there's very little consequences for the pimps or the perpetrators. Most of the consequences fall to the women who are being sold. We're starting to see situations and circumstances where some parents are selling and trading their kids for drug, um, to support their drug habits. As a matter of fact, um, before Act 367, we saw the role how if the perpetrator um, wasn't a parent or a guardian or a caretaker, then the Department of Children and Families didn't have to get involved and investigate the crime because they saw an influx of parents selling their kids to support their drug habits which made that a very unfortunate situation for those children involved in the commercial sex acts because there were cases where the parent wasn't involved. These kids disappeared from the streets or they uh, fell in love with the wrong individual and saw the perpetrator as their boyfriend or as someone who took care of them rather than an actual related family member. So the need was to make sure that we protected these kids at all costs regardless of the situation these were children who were being sold and they needed help.